alrighty, today we have a treat especial, but we are gonna do uh, another versus video between the Ryobi uh, P251 brushless hammer drill against the Makita uh, XPH07. I think this is brushless. It says BL motor, but it doesn't say brushless on it. But I, I'm assuming BL means brushless. I don't see any sparks uh, inside when I activate it. So I think this is brushless as well. So this doesn't seem to... Alright, so that was good. That one's fully charged. Alright, uh... It doesn't seem to be that fast. That's on speed too, but I do not know. I, I've never used Makita before, so we're going to find this out together. I am curious what the results are going to be on these. I have no idea. <coughs> the only battery I have on here is a 3 amp hour battery, so I'm going to use a 3 amp hour HP battery on the Ryobi. Please, I, uh, I'm not going to... The HP factor is in there. I'm sorry. It's I have to use it. I'd rather use it than not, all right? So remember, this is Makita against Ryobi. Everyone's going to say that Ryobi sucks and it's a bad tool. So so I just want to show that Ryobi has the capability to be almost equal to the more respected brands to the contractors. So, so yeah, I'm curious what this is. Now, uh, I do not know what the specs are. So let's look at that really quick. All right, so on the Makita, the blows per minute is 31,500. Of course, a metal keyless chuck. It seems like to it seems to be the same type of metal that is on the Ryobi when it comes to the chuck. Now the Dewalt has a, uh, I think a little bit uh, heavier, dutier chuck on on its to on its drill, and uh, 2,100 RPMs on this. So this is about one. Uh, about 300 RPMs more than the uh, the Ryobi because the Ryobi is 1800 and also the Ryobi is 24,000 uh, blows per minute. And so, so yeah, it has it is a, a higher BPM and a higher RPM. So this is uh, going to be an interesting one. Uh, yeah, but I, I I'm gonna say when it comes to the the speed. Compared to the Dewalt, the speed just doesn't seem to be there. Like the power, does, like you can't feel the power that is ha that it has. All right, what we have here is a four x four on the Makita three amp hour battery. The battery is full. This is extremely tight. It is. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Five. Time on that. Like I said, you guys need to get this. It's a very, uh, very good little blower to cl clear off your area really quick. All right, so let's take this off. Put it on the Ryobi. Like I said, they're both keyless metal trucks. That keyless option is awesome. All right, so three, two, wait, let's clear this off. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alright, so that is that. Now, I, I'm going to say this. I will say this. Milwaukee, oh, uh, sorry. Makita. I don't know why I said Milwaukee. Makita feels good in my hand. So, like I said for uh, the, about the Milwaukee and DeWalt, I, those don't feel good in my hand because the handle gets skinny at the end. But uh, Makita, 
A Makita is, is like Ryobi. It's thick at the bottom and it's thick on top. So it feels, a uh, Makita feels really good in my hand. Because as you can see, I, I have plenty of clearance between my fingers and my palm. Just like the, just like the Ryobi. You know, so it feels, Makita feels good in my hand. So if you're a Ryobi fan and you want, uh, and you like a thick handle, Makita is, is the way to go. Because, uh, this seriously feels really good in my hand. All right, so we are ready to go. And as on drill, speed two. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> And there we go. I don't need to blow that one off at that time. Three, two, one, go. Not bad. I don't feel a resist. I don't feel much resistance in the motor. All right, so we're going to do one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. All right, so it is on drill. Speed two. Battery is still full. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. All right, next hole. That's good. Th a little bit more. I don't want to. Three, two, one, go. And just to let you guys know, when I uh, I'm stopping the timer, when this falls through and smacks against the wood, that's when I'm stopping the timer. All right. So three, two, one, go. Very good. Both drills, both drills are working exceptionally well. So we have the Makita right here. We're gonna make a new hole right here, and it, it got to put the hammer. Battery is full. All right, so speed two hammer. We're gonna use a blower to blow away the the dust from building up at the edge so I can see where it stops. All right, so turn this on. Three, two, one, go. That's where it went. So we're good on that. Yeah, I'm, uh, the Makita felt slow. I have a feeling Ryobi's gonna win this one. All right, so put that to put that to hammer. It is on speed two. Battery is full. All right, so we got this right here. Now remember. When it comes to uh, the test that I did uh, against the DeWalt 5 amp hour battery, the Ryobi 3 amp hour HP battery beat the DeWalt. So let's see what this let's see what happens. All right, so hammer drill, speed two, full battery. Set the turn this on. Move this out of the way. I don't want that to get dirty. Set three. Two, one, go. <laughs> So that was a good result, if I do say so myself. 
This drill bit only made two holes. So they had two holes each equally. And so this is, is a fair a fair test. So the battery, battery is full. Hammer, speed two. Turn this on. All right, so three, two, one, go. I'm going to stop that test there because this is not my drill and I do not want to burn this up because I smell a tad bit of burning. Yeah, uh, that's it for the that's it for that because I don't I cannot put this uh, to the max. Hammer speed two. Turn this on. Move the Makita. Three, two, one, go. Let's blow it to get that out of the way. So already, I am not going to say a prediction for this because I do not know. Uh, the test results are there. Both did well, but when it comes to the stone, uh, I did, this is not my drill, and I thought I smelled, uh, I smelled a tiny bit of burning. And so that just tells me, uh, stop. And so the tool's fine. Tool is 100% fine. I do not know if that's Makita's natural smell of the motor. Like I said, I never owned a Makita before, so I do not know. Uh, I know that each tool does have a distinct smell when it comes to uh, the motor turning on. Like, I know Ryobi's smell. DeWalt has its own smell. Uh, but just to make sure... I don't think it. I don't think anything burnt. Just to make sure, I don't want to fry out. Fry. It's not my tool, so I want to. I don't want to damage his tool in any way. And if you guys borrow tools from friends, make sure you clean them before you give them back. Just common courtesy. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.